Welcome back to Las Vegas, everybody. This is Dave Vellante with Rob Strecce, and we're here day three, HPE Discover 2023. Big party last night. Uh, John Fogarty was rocking the house. Uh, but you know, you look around, there's actually people here today. They showed up for, <laughs> for day three in the getaway day. Alexia Clements is here. She's the Vice President of Worldwide Sales and Go-To-Market Lead for HPE GreenLake Cloud Services, the commercial business at HPE. It's kind of exciting times right now. And Gwen Bork is here, the Assistant Vice President in, in Information Technology Services at Saskatchewan Polytechnic. Ladies, welcome to theCUBE, good to see you. Thank you, thanks so much for having us. Yeah, so did you guys make it out last night? Did you go to the conference or? The, we, to, well, I went to the con conference uh, the and concert, I went to the concert. Sorry. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> I thought yeah. he was great too. It yeah. Put me in coach, I was really excited. <laughs> <laughs> so Gwen, what's your story at uh, Saskatch? Uh, uh, Sask Polytech. Sask Polytech, I'll call it. Sask I can say Saskatchewan, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you've got a really interesting background. Military, right? You were an educator. Now you're, now you're in IT, right? Um, tell us about that. Yeah. So uh, I, I am in the military. I, I've been there since 1992. Um, so <laughs> it's been a really interesting journey with the military and SAS Polytech. I've, I've not actually taught uh, before, but what I have done um, is worked in our our IT division. And um, I've done many uh, different jobs there. So now I'm currently the associate vice president at SAS Polytech. So, so yeah. What, tell us more about the, the the institution. What's the focus and what you well, know about? Well, so we are a post-secondary institution, and um, we have many. We offer you know trades training. We have diploma. Uh, degree and also master's uh, programs at SAS Polytech. And, and what we really do is, is we give that sort of just-in-time training for our, our students. We work with industry partners, so we understand the training that is required and we get them out into the workforce to, you know, as quickly as possible. So we're a huge catalyst for economic growth and, and making sure that Saskatchewan can continue to grow. Very cool. So Alexia, you picked the right spot. Yeah, <laughs> skated to the puck, as they say. <laughs> what's what's happening in your world? What's hot? What's hot? It's all about HPE GreenLake is hot, but um, I would say really it's about, I'm pretty excited about our strategy and all the announcements that we made today. So I think HPE's, the strategy's spot on. We're really aligning to the three big mega trends going on in the industry around edge, hybrid cloud, and AI. And we're seeing, you know, some exciting, um, you know, some exciting announcements this week. So I feel like I'm in the right spot right now. So uh, where there's some exciting things happening, especially with HP GreenLake. So, Gwen, if we take those mega trends, edge, hybrid cloud, and AI, are you one of those? All of those? Tell us where you're at on those various. Trends. Absolutely, hybrid cloud and AI. That is very big on my radar right now. We, we need that, um, you know, at SAS Poly, we were actually with the pandemic and we had a cyber incident a while ago. Those have huge value to us in our organization, so yes. Can you tell us more about that? I mean, so can you, what can you share about the cyber incident and how does hybrid help? What I can share about the cyber incident, it was, it was pretty scary times, and I don't know how many folks have really gone through something like that, but um, just for, for lessons learned and just to give everybody some background, um, we found out, uh, you know, I will never forget the day um, I was joined into a Zoom room with a bunch of my staff on there, and they were showing me every single virtual machine was turning red one by one. Um, so, so what we did is uh, we turned everything off. Uh, found out that we had a cyber incident indeed, and um, not only did obviously all of our, our services were hit, but our backups were as well. So we lost all the indexing on our backups. We still had backups, but it took a long time to find the data. So long and, and, and short of it, we lost everything. All we had left was Zoom. And, and so now, from that incident, you're looking at hybrid cloud, it sounds like, and that's really one of the approaches that you're taking, and I would assume partnering with HPE on that. 
Absolutely. We uh, have really focused on that, that resilience aspect and making sure that we have redundant systems, highly available systems, and making sure that our services, we can have them up and running if there's anything uh, like that ever again. And it's not just cyber incidents. I mean, there's other things that could potentially happen, you know, but we, we are really focused on our, our DR plans and our BCP plans right now. And it's, it's hard, right? Because you don't want an incident like that to ever happen to anyone, but I think it's, like, she's a great example. The Saskapalli is a great example. Like, hey, everybody's got to be thinking about this and being prepared, and um, we've got some great uh, solutions to help customers in, you know, when they're faced with those incidents. Yeah, which, which ones are you deploying, or where, where are you at in your journey to being, I, I guess, more resilient would be the way to put it? So right now, we are working to get uh, a lot of our systems onto to GreenLake. I, I'm very hyper-focused on those, those DR plans and making sure that we have highly available systems. So what I will talk about, for example, is our virtual desktop infrastructure. So that, that system actually is our student labs. So when student labs go down, I mean, our folks aren't learning. And we really want to provide that experience for students that, well, modern for one, but, but make sure that they have access to their labs all the time. So we uh, currently right now, it's, it is on a, a system that we are moving over. It started failing. Unfortunately, the vendor couldn't figure out what the issue was, but we've made a backup plan, plan B, DR plan. <laughs> With, uh, with the HPE Green Lake, so we're ready to go when it fails again, and uh, we've had yeah. huge success with that. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's, it's interesting you, you went down, and uh, I, I used to work for a Canadian company, Manulife Financial, and I actually ran DR in the North America for them for a little bit of time, and I think exactly what you're saying, you have to really plan for the inevitable and really look at how do you you're going to have failures. And is that where GreenLake is helping you? They're really helping you have the assets deployed, pre-deployed, and where you can go and leverage and kind of move up into that? Uh, 100%. And the thing is, in the past, when I would buy capital, it would sit and it would not be used. Uh, and we would use it when we, we needed it. We had to make estimates to make sure that we had everything available. But with GreenLake, it's, it's just in time. So I'm not paying for the equipment to be sitting there. Yeah. But yes. <laughs> I think there's a couple aspects of that. Decades ago, a friend of mine named Fred Moore, uh, who's retired now, but he was a, a backup guru, said, you know, backup is one thing, recovery is everything. And this is where you need, you guys talk about, and others do too, but hybrid by design. Exactly. You have to have a system that is capable of recovering, not just sort of throwing stuff somewhere and say, oh, well, I backed it up. All right, just, you got to be able to back up, uh, recover quickly and, and accurately. So that's, that's a, a, a critical piece of it. Uh, and then to your other point, Gwen, to be able to do so without having to throw a bunch of infrastructure that sits around doing nothing, uh, is, is key, because uh, that money can be spent elsewhere on innovation. So that's two great points that you just made. Um, what about AI? Where does that fit? I mean, you guys are probably teaching it, I'm sure, but how are you consuming it? You know, we, we are teaching it. Um, the thing with AI, and, and what I love, is all of the predictable analytics, and when we see workloads that are starting to fail, they just automatically move. So we've got that automation orchestration starting. Um, you know, we, we are new, but it, it's working well. So again, the services are totally available to students. You know, you just said something, I just want to um, uh, reiterate, having a landing zone after a cyber incident, we didn't have that. Mm -hmm. And so this is another place where HPE GreenLake is, is very, very important, and, and that's why um, we've been working on those DR plans and our ERP and uh, BDI right now, and there's more to come, so. Yeah, architecture matters, and the business impact when you have that type of architecture, I mean, it, sometimes initially you might get pushback from finance that says, well, you know, can't you cut here, cut there? And then when an incident like that happens, then all of a sudden everybody's on board. Hugest <laughs> lesson learned from me, director of IT operations at that time. <laughs> but what we are seeing with our customers, with HP GreenLake customers, is 
We start with maybe the first workload being a VDI solution or a backup and recovery solution. And then you're having the foundation there and you're, it's easy to drive that expansion based on your needs. So the next workload or if something, and being able to move quickly to have that you know, pre-provisioning or being able to move fast to meet your business requirements. So I want to I want to double down on that because what you just said, Alexi, is really important. Uh, when people talk about, you hear this bromide all the time, we well, got to design in security, you got to design in data protection, but that's what it, you, you mean. I mean, this is an example. You start with that foundation and it's there. Right. right? And you build on top of that as opposed to you put in you know, the old way. <laughs> you, get a, you have an idea for an app, you get a server, you know, you spin up a, a database, you know, whatever, you get this stuff working, and they say, oh, we got to back this up, and you sort of bolt it on. Right. And that doesn't work, or you think about a DR strategy uh, after the fact. And then when you do that, it's, um, it oftentimes doesn't serve your business needs. And what we're seeing is that, you know, part of the, with HP GreenLake, is we're meeting with our customers to really understand What's next for them? What's the next workload? What's going on in their business? You know, so for her as an IT leader, she's you know meeting with her different constituents and under like learning and understanding. You know, what's the next thing that they're trying to do to try to achieve the business outcomes that they need to do? And so we're meeting with them. We're understanding what their you know what their plans are, so that we're helping them in preparing those next solutions to to grow. So what is next? Well. <laughs> We uh, have a solution architect team that um, is working on that, but our, our strat plan um, in our particular division, we're, we're focusing on all of our top 10 uh, type items with, within the Institute. Right now, we're actually working through our uh, ERP system, which is, which is Banner, and um, we should have that finalized soon. I can tell you that um, we were looking at a couple different op options. So we had two quotes. One quote is with the current vendor that houses, uh, it's in a different data center right now. I said, if I wanted this back up in two days, how much would that cost me? $200,000. And then I said, okay, well, let's look at Green Lake now. It's a quarter of the price. So we're going to continue working through those top 10 services. I mean, it takes time, it takes money, but in higher ed, obviously we don't have a ton of money, <laughs> not like healthcare or anything like that, but that is why GreenLake is, is so important to us. Well, you're able to align your consumption with the value to the exactly. organization. And, and even, even if over the long term, you might, you might perhaps spend more, if it's driving value to the organization, it's easier to justify, it, it, it drives you know, student satisfaction, employee satisfaction, it just makes for a better organization that's more productive and more it's efficient. About the, yeah, it's about the experience, and then the other key value prop is you're not over-provisioning. So mm -hmm. we're really, we're metering and monitoring and understanding what do you need now, what's coming down for the future, and being able to prepare and and, and making sure that we're not, you know, as she said, leaving idle equipment there that's yep. not being utilized. Well, Alexia, Gwen, Gwen, thanks so much for coming to theCUBE and sharing your story. It was great to see you guys. Thanks so much Thank for having you. us. Thank you. Yeah, it was so nice Good to be back. here. You're welcome. All right, uh, Dave Vellante for Rob Strecce. In a moment, we'll come back and we're going to talk about open source. It's a topic, a hot topic. We haven't talked a ton about open no. source this week, and so we're going to dig into it with SUSE and HPE. Keep it right there. You're watching theCUBE, HPE Discover 2023. Thank you.